Welcome back, guys. We're still waiting on Formal to get in the game versus Denial. In the meantime, should update you on what's happening with FaZe versus Team Caliber. TK down 1-0 after the hard point. Currently tied 3-3 as FaZe just took their third round. Yeah, I would uh, definitely say, you know, obviously FaZe is the better hard point team. Not a shocking outcome there. The SND, another little bit of a shocker. You know, TK struggled with SND during Season 1 of the Pro League. Seemed to right the ship a little bit. But face, you know, with Slasher and Parasite, like we talked about before, such a strong S and D team. Looking here on on Terrace. Oh, I'm a bit surprised that TK is not more aggressive. When we saw them yeah. in Columbus, they played this map super aggressively, especially after getting those first snipes. Parasite, though, we talked about him earlier being a top five S and D player. I think he's the best in the game at the moment. He very well might be. Uh, he is always putting up nice numbers in S&D. You know, always making big plays. Just really, he's a very tough player to beat. So we're going to... Oh, Formal just got in the room. Good news is good. We are seconds away from kicking off Denial versus Optic Gaming, it seems, over here. But in the meantime, we'll see who's going to win this big round seven. This is a big one-on-one -on -one coming up. Yeah, it's... Uh, and look at that new ticker from Ronald. I like it. Whoa, Ron. Get all them matches Taking on there. his game to the next level. AR up 1-0 over Rise. Did I call Rise? I regret it. Honestly, say he's going to wrap it I think we both did. Who do we take? I think we... I don't know what you're talking about. I took AR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Rise. Uh, we both took Rise, so we'll probably end up losing that one. Whoops. Oh. This is the longest 1v1 what ever, by doing? the way. It's pretty good. He's running away. He ran away. He ran away. He did not run he away. He did run away. He's oh, he's oh. there! You seen it? Don't you hate that one? This head? is a, how long can they have a yeah, battle here? Yeah, you are the best, Hook. Hook is the best. How, and he has enough time to fuse. How did that even happen? Hook, the youngest of the young gods, is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Theory continuing so to impress at the top of the leaderboard. Theory's been team. playing great lately. Oh, no. And uh, know, one thing, uh, like actually, funny story about who well. is pre, uh, both, you know, pre the game coming out, I got a little bit early. I get on with our Legion, and we get absolutely yeah, destroyed actually, over no, about no, no, four or five great. maps by this guy, Hook. I'm about to just stun 70 stun kills consistently, I'm saying. Who is this I'll guy? I've never heard of him ever before. Uh, I didn't grab First 5k I come to cast. He drops like 60 against Optic Nation. Oh, maybe he is actually really good. Uh, nice Something snipe coming in from Theory, but we're going to take it over now. Game is ready. First time using the new broadcaster mode, yeah, he might be. as we're going to take the action to Detroit. Look at the colors. The colors. The colors. I love the look of it. Krim only making $242,000 in his competitive Call of Duty What a lame. Uh, I've been doing esports for longer than that, and our paycheck's about the same, Krim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's just going to be pushing over in a garage here. And what do you think of the new scoreboard? Shout out to Christian Martinez. Yes. I love it. Looks good. Tell who it e each team is. Now that's static on the scoreboard side. We can put those nice names in there. Looks great. Ron, I hit that RB for you. You mean the LB? There it is. It's LB drops the Sentinel face. We're learning new things here. Yeah, I'm going to throw on some COD vision for you, though. Nate Shot going to be dropped. Let's take it over to Scumpy. Would you say, who would you say had the best performance on Optic? Because I saw Scump walking home with the trophy. Hmm, I would say Scump. It's hard to say no. I mean, he always plays so good for them. Uh, I think Krim, he had their big moments. You know, the, the 3v1 is huge. I mean, they lose that map. I don't know if they go on to win the event. But I think, you know, Scump obviously had the best event, but Krim has been putting up numbers consistently. Just haven't really noticed it. I think Formal and uh, Scump have just been playing so good. Krim not even challenged in here for the first 15 points. Now people flooding in. Tie game. Nice protection on the outside. You just saw three go down. Last man standing is Clayster, and Clay's going to have to wait for the spawn. Look at his teammates, though, spawning across the map. Good thing or bad thing for them right now? Ah, uh, well, he was trying to win those engagements in the back. He killed one, but the flood through the front, that's so difficult. You're going to see players dropping for Denial. It's going to be replaced, trying to work through the back. He's going to be able to pick up one. His teammate picks up another, not able to break through. So Optic 
making up a ton of time here on this green hill. Cremonade trying to hold down green, but they just lose control in the final 15 seconds. Attach starting to heat up. He's got three hard point breaks, and uh, you can see the fire is now being used for the kill streak. <laughs> oh, uh, it's very. Uh, I did not notice that before. What? It's very attractive. <laughs> the, the fire. He's on fire. He's on fire. If you get double digits in that column, you are on fire officially. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> re and re go. replay trying to work around the back, trying to break those spawns. That's the proper way to break this hill. You want to work through that back. Clay going to take one out in the hill, but he's going to be shut down there. And I believe that is Krim inside the hill, sitting at nine and six right now, nine and seven, but still doing a nice job here at the beginning of this game. Nade shot backing them up here on Garage Ramp as we take a look at the spawns. Everyone's spawning outside of school, so Nade going to have his hands full to the right. Also, pressure will come from the window eventually. Has to be careful. Nice intro kill, and he's going to get them both. Goes for the triple. Almost there, but Clay too strong. Finally going to fall to Scumpy. Scump starting off pretty uh, pretty mediocre for his uh, games. You know, eight and eight still at even, but up the gaming. Huge lead here. They're going to rotate around towards that back. That would have been a huge battle for Clay to win there. Not able to win it. That's where you want to push. Try and get those spawns. Try and get control of that back trailer. This is going to be a big gun battle right here. And I believe that is Krim inside of the hill that had won that. j kept though flooding it as well. He's going to be taken out. So now it's going to be very difficult for Donato to push out through the front here. You see tons of nades flying into the hill. All Optic needs to do is hold that spawn in the back, but it looks like Denal's broken it. And here comes Krim, not going to be able to hold it off. Skump there to back him up. Shots coming in from all over, though. And there is the kill feed. Yeah, I was going to ask you. Yeah, I was going to ask you where the kill feed Well, there, there's a reason I wasn't showing it. Yeah, but It just not? confuses me. Nah, it's fine. Going to have Skump. He's going to be pushing towards that hill, trying to break through the front, but just like we said before, you know, you can't break through that front. You need to hold that spawn in the back trailer. Krim watching the front door. Nade shot two kills in the feed. And you're going to see replays and J-Cap coming off the spawn, trying to rotate over. Krim6 going to race him to the school, just running across mid-street. He ran right in front of replays, just so confident in his teammates' protection. Unfortunately, though, for Optic, it's going to be denial inside. Attach had the first kill set up, and oh. he doubles back for the melee. Attach playing so aggressive, J-Cap falls inside. Replay still up, though. Yep, replay still up, controlling that hill, and that's all they really ask him to do on Denial. But you're getting pretty good games out of Clay and Attach here. Denial still holding it into this, holding on to this game, trying to keep in it, but you know, it's going to be difficult. Uh, it looks like Optic, everybody playing pretty well from them at this point. Going into the second rotations of hills, they have to be careful, Denial, not to let those guys on Optic get you. No. Quaster trying to do damage in the front again. They're stopped three down. Attached first one off spawn. Gets melted. Krim looking to back school. No problem. Replays eventually going to peak and Krim oh. set up for But replays <laughs> faster this time is going to get through and get a bit of time. Four down for Optic Gaming. That's the first four down I've seen. Let's see how they plan to deal with denial setup. J-Cap trying to get the window. Not going to happen. Replays inside the hard point first. You know, Krim watching that school, looking that one direction, not even flinching when he sees players drop. It's just a testament to how much trust he has in the rest of his teammates to pick those kills up outside. Great protection outside of the hard point from Attach. He and J-Cap picking up big kills. Here was a big two-piece opportunity. Not going to happen. Clay rotating in. He falls. His replays is cleaned up out of the hard point. Over to Skump now, who's hanging out inside garage window. Yep, Skump, he's just going to be watching that hard point from afar, trying to lock that down. You see, he's just worried about being flanked, though, by a player from Denial, but the kill feed all Optic Gaming at this point. It's going to be 20 seconds left on the hill. Skump, he's going to be thinking about rotating right now. Should just push straight through Hospital, try and get that back trailer spawn. He knows his teammates are going to be able to hold it, and that's exactly what he's doing, but only able to pick up one. So now, going to have to try and push through the front, Chris. It's crazy. They, they said the ASM1 got tweaked. I don't see it. Skump still melting with it. Three streak here. You got a five streak for Krim. Skump with another big kill is going to be able to break green. And now, is Optic going to be able to hold on to the whole 55 with this setup? It looks uh, like it's possible. Yeah. There is a player, though, trying to hold down the trailers. Let's go to him. J-Cap needs to get big kills here. Not going to happen. He falls back over to Skumpy. Well, uh, Optic is almost unbeatable when Nate is going to play like this. And he's putting up numbers like 24 and 15, and the others are clicking. It is extremely difficult. You're going to need uh, an insane game out of two or three of your players as you see Krim push out back trailers, win those fights easy. But, you know, for Denial, 
Jcap struggling a little bit. 12 and 27. Clay, you know, not having a great game either. 21 25. It's a very difficult start here for Denal. Did the bow get tweaked at all in, nope. in the latest tuning? Nope. The bow did not get tweaked. So the bow is definitely going to be the preferred AR until someone finds something stronger in the meantime. ASM1 seemed to be the gun of choice on this map for seven out of the eight players. Was Formal running the bow? Yeah, he yep. is still. So six out of, six yep. out of the eight. Yeah, so uh, Formal and Clay, it's just going to be a battle of them two with those ARs and the rest, the submachine gun players. So dominant for Optic Gaming as you see two players get a kills with the SMGs and then Formal going to try and push up ramp, pick up the last two. That is such an easy break from Optic Gaming. It shouldn't be this easy no. either. And Formal, Formal should not be getting jumping shots on you while you're in doorway. Krim set up on the opposite side, ready for the rotation formal. Though three, 30 seconds, excuse me, still here in the garage. Scumpy gonna be pushing in and he is cut down. So Optic's starting to drop a few players, but formal fighting for this back control. Clayster really needs to go off here with the bow and that's gonna be two down. Attach spawning at the top. Everyone else though is gonna be set up for the rotation. Can they bring it back? Two minutes left in the game, down by 70 points. So, so interesting here. Uh, the one player who got in here last that did not warm up is currently 34-26. Formal is just an absolute freak I'm of nature. Just the best at video games. Yeah, he is just dominating from afar with that bow. But now, he'll and in control. Close. Oh, wow. The hill in control to Denial. It's going to be up to Formal win this gun battle over here at Statue. Try and break that, and it's going to be Clay who's going to win that one against Formal. So this is the big anchor battle you're going to talk about. And you see all of OG spawn at ramp. They're going to push Clay effectively. Watch where Clay is going to spawn now outside of hospital. He's going to have to get back around, try and help his teammates. And Clay is going to get that mid-street angle, but everyone flushed out. Clay, by the time he gets in, they are set up with the ASM-1. This is going to be Optic Gaming's game number one. They are 25 points away from making it official. Can they get it done before time runs out? And here's the difference between Clay, uh, Clay and Formal. You see Formal pretty much play primarily from outside of the hill. On the other side, you saw Clay. He just jumped straight through that window trying to put pressure on the hill. And this is the difference between these two players right now. I think they're hitting 250. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They're going to hit 250. I mean, you got a minute left going into school. There's one player over there from Denal right now, but just Formal cannot miss. Attaches inside. How long can he stay alive? Optic going to be swarming. That was three straight denial kills. Attach dodging as one breaks. Trades efficiently. Gets a second. Big kills here from Attach. And really at this point, you're really just playing for, I guess, a little bit of momentum, <laughs> confidence. Yeah, you're just playing to get your shot warm at this point. Try and get there's some momentum towards the end of this game. Maybe somebody makes a ridiculous kill. Everybody can laugh a little bit about going into the next one. But uh, then now they're going to drop this wall. first map in the Pro League Season 2 to Optic Gaming. Jcap struggling a little bit. I'm finishing about 20. Finished 21 and 38. It's a rough start. Almost double neg. Almost double neg. But hey, that's a rough start. D don't expect that out of Jcap too often. The shot looked pretty good in the school there to close yeah. things out. But... JCap definitely a player to watch on the other side. Did you see what happened with uh, Fear in their second game? Uh, no, didn't see what happened. Or, excuse me, Phase. Phase the second game. I am so tired. <laughs> <laughs> Did not see what happened in Phase the second game, so we'll have to get a score update on that one. 48 and 32, Formal. You are ridiculously good at video games. Four captures as well. Nine captures for Crimbot. Led all players tied with attached there for that top spot. Game one in the books. We got game two, Search and Destroy, coming up next. And we did get the update. 1-1. One, one. And yeah, 1-1 one, one phase, phase TK. TK. All yeah. right. Don't go anywhere. Be back with S&D after this.